In a land of lockdown and a time of social distancing, the entertainment destiny of a great kingdom rests on the nostalgia of a television show. Its name, Merlin. Hello. Uh, welcome, everybody, to uh, my place. Do you like what I've done with the place? Um, this is what my rooms look like for the last eight years. Just can't let it go. Here we are. I'm so pleased that you've joined me. Thank you very much. Um, it is an absolute pleasure to have your company. I understand we have people from all over the globe with us this evening. And uh, I have to say, I've been very much looking forward to this. Um, and I also have to say, thank you so much for what you have done for Redemption Pause. Thank you. More on that in a minute. Uh, we may be stuck in our homes if we're being responsible. I hope we're all being responsible. Um, but that doesn't mean that we can't collectively try and have some fun. Let's give it our best shot. Eh? Right, housekeeping. This Kahoot app has numbers and all sorts appearing on the, on the screen. Uh, now, is, if you haven't downloaded it yet, now is the time. Download that Kahoot app. It's free, download it, you put that pin in, you play the game. You've got a couple minutes yet before we crack on. Uh, so, I believe we have a very special caller straight away. Someone who's a big fan of Merlin. I'm going to just go to my ear here. Producer, producer Melaloo, is that, uh, is that right? Can we, can we speak to our first? You uh, can indeed. Here is Tamarind. Tamarind? I'm Lisa, and I'm Beth, and this is Tamarind, who's a huge fan of Merlin. He's been watching, watching all week in preparation for today. Look at Tamarind. Uh, I've, seen a, I've seen a video of Tamarind where he essentially uh, seems to be the biggest Merlin fan on the planet and will ace this quiz tonight. And he also likes the taste of hand. Excellent. Uh, Tamarind, I've got some details here on Tamarind. At least I think I do. Let's have a look. Okay. You have to tell me this is right or wrong. He's 10 months old. He's a black Labrador. Mm -hmm. He's from the Cayman Islands. He is. He's a little and from Canada. He went through an earthquake in January. An earthquake? Tamarind, you absolute soldier. Um, apparently he's very goofy. Uh, he's a smart boy though. He throws his own bone and he likes to play fetch. Classic, classic dog behavior. Uh, can fall asleep at any time, I envy you that. Uh, any place, no matter what or where his head is resting. Wow, Tamarind, <laughs> jealous of you. Um, he loves to bird watch, okay. Uh, does he catalog those as well? Uh, going for runs, pulling all his toys out of his basket. And he is currently looking for a home, I understand. Is that true? Yes, he is. There we go. Tamarind, you're absolutely gorgeous. I can't see it being too long before someone comes and offers you a home. For everybody at home, for everybody watching this now, Tamarind is uh, a classic example of um, a canine you have just helped out. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. That may just be about enough time to have downloaded the Kahoot app to have put in the code. Actually, since we just heard his voice, let's drag producer Melaloo out here. Oi, Melaloo, get your face on screen, mate. Good evening, Bradley, and good evening, all you Merlin fans out there. I mean, uh, there he is. Wow. Hello, hello. <laughs> there you are, right outside the castle. Just right outside your gaff, mate. I'm, I'm impressed that the internet connection is so good from that cafe where you must be. That, mate, uh, that 4G place. is an amazing thing. 5G nowadays, mate, but okay. Um, I am going to point out that if something should happen, you, you guys know what I'm like with technology. If something should happen, if I disappear, hopefully it'll only be for a moment. 
Melody's face will pop up. He's not a stranger. He's not, you don't have to shout stranger danger. <laughs> he is a bit strange, but he's wonderful in a strange way. Uh, Melody, thank you so much for all the effort you put in tonight, mate. A pleasure. Let me wish everyone good luck. And I hope you don't need to see me again until the end of the broadcast. Take care. There we go. Thanks, mate. Okay. Are we all ready for uh, our first question? Actually, before we say the first question, here's what I'm going to do. Um, the way this is going to work, we played this yesterday. We had a little, little tester, right? And the question, I'm going to read out the question. I've got them somewhere when I find them. Then you're going to be on your Kahoot app some colors which are attached to the answer are going to appear and you obviously pick the color that matches what you think the answer is now it's not just about getting the questions right it's also about getting them relatively quickly because you get points dependent on how quickly you answer the question so this first question, you're going to get a minute to answer it. All the others are going to be 30 seconds, but let's just take our time with this first one. Settle in. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I think that might be it. We might be ready to go. And there is one more thing. For those of you wondering, this is my new haircut. Did it myself. What do you think? Don't answer that. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. First question. Just give my uh, backroom team a moment to get ready. Let's say, this is just to settle you in. You've got a minute to answer it. And I'm receiving messages from people as well who are also watching, rightly mocking me for this. Uh, so if you see me chuckle, you'll know why. Okay, here's the first question. Everybody ready? You should be. Name the French town in which the castle is used for Camelot. Is it Angers? Angers. Is it Compiègne? Compiègne. Is it Pierrefonds? Pierrefonds. Or is it Cruelly? Cruelly. Which one of those is it? I would say that's a nice, comfortable question to uh, receive straight out, of the, straight out of the gate. Take your time, relax, you've got 60 seconds. Um, I happen to love filming in this place. The French is killing you in this good. I happen to love filming in this place. The people were lovely, absolutely lovely. Um, the castle itself, got to go to work in that castle. That's where we did our job in that castle. Um, but yeah, they were all very welcoming to us. And someone tweeted me the other day, yesterday, to ask if I, if I would ever go back. The answer is a definitive yes. I don't know when that will be. I might just sneak in at some stage. But um, yeah, one day, I don't know when that day will be. One day, I will go back. Here we go, we've got some results. 507 of you got the correct answer. Well done. Uh, the answer was, of course, Pierrefonds. Early scoreboard here. Holly? Holly's a sharpshooter. Look out for her. Lilia, Amez98. Ella and Laura, got the slide man. Good name. Oh, the dramatic music's just kicked in. Um, okay. That was, that was relatively pain-free, right? Everybody, everybody managed to answer that. We got through that together, well done. Uh, should we go on, before we go on to the next question? Um, I'd just like to say thank you to a couple of people at Redemption Falls. We've got uh, Jing, who is behind the scenes. She is currently working her magic with a lot of this uh, technical stuff, because you might have guessed by now, there's new Wii 
I would have been able to do this. Uh, and she has been very supportive of me through this whole process, setting this whole, up, this whole thing up. Thank you, Jing. Also, Sydney. Thank you, Sydney. Um, great effort put in by these lovely ladies. And uh, also, Nicole, who has, uh, who began Redemption Paws, has been doing some wonderful work with it. And it's pretty much the reason that we're all here this evening. So if it goes terribly, you know who to blame. Blame me, blame me, blame me. Thank you guys, the work you do is great. And um, thank you for setting this up because I know we're gonna have fun. All right, question two, stalled too long. Everybody in, here we go. Nope, that's the wrong piece of paper. It's going well. Okay. Question number two. What is the name of the village where Merlin comes from? His hometown, as it were. Is it Idi... <laughs> Idi Sholas? Is it Carleon? Is it Firion? Is it Ialdor? Fire away. I actually went back and did an episode in his village. A lot of fun doing it as well. There's a little sort of old medieval village in Wales, which we used quite a few times because it was such a good spot to film in. And we may have even chanted the name of this village because we were so passionate about it. And the answer, of course, was Ialdor. 650 people. Oh, I think we need to uh, toughen these questions up a little bit. What do you think? Well done, 650 people of you. Um, Queen, Queen Anna was quick off the mark. Lily is still in the mix. Millie Tobin, straight into second. Nice and tight early on. Well done, guys. So, Let's move on to question number three. And question number three is this. Who directed the first ever episode of Merlin? Was it Alice Troughton? Was it James Hawes? Was it Ed Freeman? Or was it Jeremy Webb? By the magic of technology, question will appear. I think there'll be a high score on this one. You've got a bit of thinking time. I can say we were very lucky with our directors on Merlin because we had some great ones. Learned a lot from them, including those four mentioned. Ah. Oh, nice little director's chair there. Clap aboard. Okay. Two, one. Ooh, not as definitive as you might think. The correct answer was indeed James Hawes. 303 of you got it right. That question did in fact toughen things up a bit. Ed Freeman directed the second block. James did the first block. Jeremy might have done the third, maybe fourth block, not sure. Anyway, congratulations to 300 well done. And the results have put Clara X, ooh, she was, a, she was a dark horse. Not too much consistency in this leaderboard at the moment. All right, we're three questions in. I'd say I'm getting a little bit lonely here. Self-isolation for you um, in my Merlin cave. How about we bring someone in to see what their cave looks like. What have we got, Melody? Well, mate, we put, we put a little call out earlier today to see what people were wearing and what they were dressing up like. Oh, yeah. Um, we've got a fair few people got in touch and yeah. picking a few people at random here. You're about to get some notifications. The first one is 
Grace Smith, you'll get a notification to bring you on as a panelist. So come and join us. And Ooh. then next up is going to be. Whoa, um, whoa, whoa, Melody, sweet child of mine. Do you want one at a time, do you? One at a time. Let's okay, go one at well, a time. Let's, uh, let's see what Grace has to offer. Let's bring Grace online. Grace, you should have a notification asking you to share your video. You with me, Grace? Grace! Look at you! I've got my medieval garb out. Wow, you sound uh, potentially Australian. Yes, I'm in Perth, Australia. It's 2 a.m. right now, but I'm here for this. Grace, I feel so guilty for, for keeping you up this late. <laughs> no. I can tell you, it was, it was so worth it with the setup that you've got going on in the background. Yeah, pretty good. Um, I had these decorations for my 21st a little while ago. <laughs> specifically with Merlin in mind or a medieval theme? Yeah, just medieval Merlin, Harry Potter, whole kind All of. that stuff. Yeah. You're wearing what looks like a knight's cape. Yep. Do you have a particular knight who you are you are fond of? Oh, I can't go past King Arthur. <laughs> that, that, um, looks like, that looks like a plant, Grace. That looks like we vetted everyone and what their answer was going to be. And they went, as soon as <laughs> there's King Arthur, like, get them up. Yeah. Um, anyone else? Um, big Gwen and Percival fan. I actually met you guys back in 2013. Did you do the Did you do the Harlem Shake with us? Yes, yes, I did in Perth. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that went a lot better than I thought it was going to be when we were when we were talking about it. We could have done with you at the front with your with your cape. Yeah, no. You did you have it then? I have what? Sorry. Did you have your cape back in 2013? No. Bring you with all no. these questions. I've brought you up in front of everybody and I'm just drilling you for answers. <laughs> um, no, I didn't have it then, okay. unfortunately. Fair enough. I but you did dance with us, though. You got what? A photo of us. There we go. Wow, <laughs> that, that, that was seven years ago. There you are. Yeah. How yeah. are you doing in the quiz? Um, pretty good. I got that last one wrong, unfortunately. It was a tough one for a lot of people, I think. Yeah. So, don't yeah. worry. But Don't I'm worry. still raring to go, still feeling good. <laughs> Perfect. I like yeah. that attitude. Grace, my dear, thank you so much. Thank I'm you so, so much, Bradley. I'm so honoured that you'd stay up late for us, even just to, just joining us. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And Thank you so much for having me. Great to see pleasure. you. My pleasure. Thank you, my darling. Right, Melaloo, talk to me. Next up, we have Enrique. Enrique, you can now speak, I hope. Enrique. Hello, everybody. What a great name. Enrique, how you doing? I'm from Brazil. My English is very bad. Hey, very bad. My Portuguese, my friend. Yes, Portuguese is very hard. <laughs> and uh, I sent this picture. Um, it's old picture, of course. But oh, it, wow. um, I live in a small city. And here we don't have uh, a Merlin uh, clothes. So they, uh, they store only had uh, this one and was the hardest that I, I could do. You made that yourself? No. Uh, you found it? I buy, yes. How old are you in that picture? In the picture, six years. You were six years old in that picture. Is that when you started watching the show? Yes. And all these years later, here you are taking part in this um, now I don't have classes anymore because of this quarantine. I don't have classes, but I, in the college, I am doing medicine. Yeah. Well, well done for staying in, sir. Enrique, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm, thank you. I'm so pleased you're here. And thank you for, what time is it with you? It must be late afternoon? No, it's early afternoon. 3 p.m. 3 p.m. There we go. So not as, not as drastic for you as it was for Grace. Enrique, thank you so much, man. It was great thank to talk. Thank you. Sorry for my English. Hey, it was very good, sir. It was very good. Thank you. All right, Melalu, talk to me. Okay, next up, we have a pair who, I mean, on Twitter, they made some homemade 
outfits that were pretty yeah. spectacular. Okay. They had some knight's helmets made out of, um, what do we say, Coke Zero boxes. Oh, I saw this. I yeah. saw this. Where are, the, where are the helmets? Where are those helmets? Where are those yes! helmets? Yes! I saw this. This was, this was fantastic. Uh, let me find you. This is me tapping on buttons. I can sort of see them. Oh, yes. I, that is right up my street for if I was asked like an hour before to do something, I would go and find a, a box and stick it on my head. Um, who, who is this I'm speaking to, Melody? I think they can answer for themselves now if you can what speak. What are your names, my dears? Uh, Sophie. Sophie, hello. Hello. And who's with you, Sophie? I'm Georgia. I'm Georgia. Georgia. Um, genius use of Coke boxes there. <laughs> genius. I, I seem to remember it coming with a, um, was there a sword involved as well? A little cutout sword? Yeah, yep. the cats haven't eaten it. <laughs> right. Are those cats sort of doubling up as your trusty steeds? They yeah. are, yes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> How are you doing on the quiz? Not too bad. We're doing okay. We're sitting in like the 200th place. So yeah, okay, yeah. well that's, that's uh, what? It's a quarter of the way up? Something like that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's still time. There is still time. Some of these, some of these questions, this leaderboard's gonna, gonna switcheroo all over the place. Um, ladies, thank you so much for joining me today, this evening. Thank where are you, where are you, where are you coming in from? Where, where do you- I'm helping. From Melbourne? Yeah. What time? What? Oh my word. What time is it? Uh, 4.30. The guilt coursing through me at the moment to, to <laughs> keeping you up at this time of night. I am so sorry, but I'm also so delighted. I'm so delighted that you have, you have stayed up. Thank you very much for joining me. No worries. Lovely Thank to see you. you. Right. Well done, Melody. Handled that well. Just about. Okay, let's, uh, let's get ourselves on to question number four, shall we? Whew. Okay, here we go. You ready, Jing? How many episodes of Merlin were made in total? Was it 50, 60, 65? Or 75? Bit of maths required here, clunk on the table. That's probably not helpful for any of you. Um, if you can work out, well, if you can work out how many episodes there were in a series, then you can times it by however many series there were. That might help. How's your maths? Seven seconds to go. Have you got it? Very good. You should see. So, wow, 557 people got that right. What's that done to our leaderboard? Bar X has been nudged off just like that. Here we go. So we've got Gabby. Gabby, how do you feel right now? You are one point ahead of Maddie, Gabby and Maddie. And Aaron Franco, he's hot in your tail. All right, question number five. This is tense. This is tense. You guys are good. And Hora is the keeper of the what? The gates, the valley of the fallen kings, the beasts, or the unicorns? I really like this episode. And there's a picture of me enjoying the episode, I suppose. A lot of cape action going on there. Nick, what was Nick's last name? He was our photographer. He was bloody good. Bloody good old Nick. Okay. Three, two, one. How many of you got this? Clearly at least 592 of you watched The Labyrinth 
of Gadreth, which is one of my favorite episodes. I love it. Uh, I haven't watched it for a long time, but I do remember it's standing out for me. Uh, well done to you, 592. Clearly too easy a question. What's that done for the results? Have we got Maddie and Gabby still at the top? Maddie's still there. Gabby's up there. But Aaron Franco, hot on their tail. Boom, straight in. Now we're starting to see some consistency. Nine players have reached answer streak three. However, does that mean, do you reckon Aaron Franco's got them all right? I don't know. Okay. All right. I think it's time for our first mystery guest. Mystery guest, please reveal yourself. And the music has gone to crotch first. <laughs> the interesting choice. And now he's gone for chest. And there's his face. Oh! Hey <laughs> oh my God, Rupert! We obviously oh, had the same. It's the same conversation about what we were wear. Except for me. Oh, look at that, hey. Didn't even plan it. Didn't even um, plan it. I'm, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It could have been any colour. I, I love, um, I'm disappointed by your beard growth, Bradley. But how many weeks is that? <laughs> this is since <laughs> lockdown began. Since lockdown began. We both got the same really? colour of faded red. I know, it's been a long time. Not just time. red, it's faded red. Yours has been through the wash a few times. A couple of times. Couple Yours, things. not many? A couple of times. Um, my friend. A new one, yeah, sorry. I'd like to... Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming here, mate. I would like to publicly congratulate you on your Olivier Award nomination. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations, you. sir. You're very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Me and, and um, Colin. Like my... Yes, indeed. Both very much deserved. Like myself, your haircut is a little different right now to what it was on the show. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, yeah, it's... I mean, yours isn't that much different. Mine is a little bit, uh, a bit shorter. Um, I miss it. I have to say, I do miss the... Um, When's it coming the back? Knowledge. Get that. I might grow it back. I mean, I'm under contract at the moment. Maybe by the end of this um, lockdown, it will come back. Do you want to? Um, do, you want to uh, do you want to get any more text, mate, Mr. Popular? I, I should put it on silent. I can't tell you you texted me, but. <laughs> um, are they giving yeah, my mum saying, they... "Could you shave?" <laughs> <laughs> um, I want. Can I tell a little story, Rupert? Yeah, please. Okay, this is for this is for everyone watching, right? We used to do these um, these like screenings. They used to put on these screenings when the new series would come out. And I think a few times we went to the BFI in London. Who I never got invited to that, but yeah, I think never got invited, which is a shame because when we uh, went there and showed, I think the first year was the IMAX, and the second year was the was the BFI and maybe the third was as well. So I think it's the start of the third season. And we, they invited an audience of uh, fans of the show to come and watch it. They got an exclusive, got to watch it before anybody else. And like the excitement in the air was palpable. And so we came in, and, you know, they were obviously very pleased to see us and we sat down and we started to watch. And as each character, appeared on screen for the first time they get this loud cheer you know merlin arrives they all go woo gaius arrives gwen arrives you know all yeah. these cheers yeah <laughs> and the loudest cheer of the night and i kid you not decibel level easily the highest is when the audience sees the side 
of your face out of focus, delivering a message. Out of focus. And they, the roar when the people realized that you were back was unbelievable. Gr I mean, granted, giving your hair at the time. It was about grain stores. I remember it was the grain stores or something. I'm like, listen, people think I'm dead and you're giving me soft focus. That's like, that is. I didn't, I didn't ask. I'm not sure if like a, a few of the audience like weren't sure if it was more goes um, the side of them, but they, I'm sure they've always oh, frozen on everybody. He's frozen at the key moment. There you go. He's back. You're back, my friend. I'm back. Sorry, I froze. I'm back. Can you hear me? I can. This is the danger of live television. He's definitely gone, hasn't he? Shit. No, I'm here. I'm here. You are here. I'm here. I can try something else. <laughs> I can hear you. I think you were fine, mate. I think everybody can you hear me. Yes, mate. How entertaining for this. <laughs> for this is amazing. Is everyone having to watch me? There you go. Me? You're both on screen right now, boys. Oh, excellent. Okay. How entertaining is that for okay. people watching that they get to see you and me fumble around with, <laughs> with our technology? I was nervous. <laughs> but you can hear me? I certainly can. But you can't see me? I can see you. Oh, this is great. I just see Kahoot at Gain Pin. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can see you, Rupert. We can see you. That's later. all that matters. Anyway. That's all that matters. I'm excited. Listen, I'm, I'm excited. I, I remember the, I mean, it's nice to hear the, the cheers, you know, when I first arrived, you know, when I first arrived, I feel that people might have been doing that at home. I like to think the 590 or whatever it is watching, playing this game, they were as excited today as they were, though, you know, what, 10 years ago? Yeah, you've got, like, we can't hear them, but right now the crowd is going wild. Oh, I know. There you go. Moral of the story, as soon as you showed up, everyone went, all right, I'll watch Series 3. They were on the edge before then. Exactly, even though I was in Series 2. But anyway, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they weren't, they weren't going to... Sorry, I get what you mean. I got there you go. They weren't, they weren't going to tune in for Series 2 if you weren't coming back, mate. Exactly. Um, I believe you've got a question for us. Am I right? I have. You're right. You're right. I mean, weirdly, I've just written this down and then you called me and said, hey, I'm doing a quiz. Oh, that's so weird. I've written a couple of questions. You can help. Perfect. Well, mate, why don't you fire away? Okay, so here we go. Do you, do you want me to do that? Okay, this is, um, this is a, a question six and good luck with this. Oh, yeah. In the episode, A Herald of a New Age. Which knight is possessed by a druid spirit? Is it Percival, <laughs> Leon, Gwen, or Elian? <laughs> it's up on the screen now, so I don't have to say it again. Oh, you've Good got luck. I've got. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Do you think I'm you know put some lights on? It suddenly got dark. It started in the morning, and now we're. Come on, did you learn nothing from the DOPs you worked with over, over the years? I learned nothing full stop. I there we go, is that better or too much? I see you've got your favorite comfy chair out in the garden. It's all out there, do you see it? It was lovely, I was gonna do this outside, but it's raining, it's disgusting. Yeah, I know. Wow. It was like being in Cardiff. It always rains when, when uh, you know. When you show up. I'm with you, yeah. Did you see the results? Aaron there? Franco. Absolutely everybody got that right. Aaron Franco is nailing it. 54 I people. I would have known the answer to that. Do you not remember the episode? I'm terrible at the titles. Wow. What can be used to deter Wildren? Straight away, they're throwing a question at us. God, there we go. They knew I couldn't pronounce it very well. This is my next question. What can be used <laughs> to deter Wildren? <laughs> More just flowers. Gaia berries, Wolfsbane or Hemlock? Is Hemlock the one uh, who was Thor? Is that Chris Hemlock? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mate, absolutely Sorry. Nailed absolutely nailed that, pal. Bradley? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, this is fantastic. 26 people. Ah. Oh, Wolfsbane. 
Wolves, but it, I don't think it was Wolves playing, was it? Oh, Aaron Franco, you just Aaron, you've let yourself down. So Aaron it Franco, Gabby well. is back. Gabby is. This is what happens? Is the speed, the what, is it speed related as well? Yeah, is you get speed related. You get points if you get it right and you answer it quickly. Okay. So, sorry about that last question, folks. Little finger slip, blame me. I have this effect on technology. Even though I didn't do anything, it was definitely my fault. Um, I'd say, Rupert, should we bring someone else to the yeah. party? Yeah, I think it's time. I think I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at mystery guest number two. <laughs> and look at him go. Can you see him? Can you hear me? Yes, mate. We oh can my hear god! <laughs> <laughs> look bad. who's I here. See everyone now. Look at us. We, we look a bit like the Olympic rings. The way we were uh, these these coloured tops. You two look like a pair of. Bright. You look like you made your cloaks into skirts before. I look like the background of the flag. You do. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, mate? Yeah, very good. Very I mean, good. We had a, to be here. Yeah, we had a lovely little chat the other day. We did. Yeah, once we got on there. Once we got on there. A lot we of it was there. just you struggling with uh, technology, which was uh, highly entertaining. Yeah. Do you think 45 minutes worth of that, though, was, was that entertaining? I got painful after half an hour. <laughs> yeah. There we are. Mate, I've got, um, got a question for you. Do you yeah. remember your first episode of Merlin? The very first episode? Your first episode where you appeared. Oh, mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did a scene where we get trapped in a, uh, like a dungeon. Or some, I think we're in the dungeons of Camelot. We're, we're sort of below the castle. Yeah. And we're having a fight with some evil, like... Well, so I haven't seen this one. Don't tell me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a fight with some, like, undead soldiers from another, another army or something. Yeah. Like, they can't be killed, right? And we all got paired up with our... Like, we obviously choreographed the fight scene and what have you. Now, Tom, for those of you who don't know, is about six foot six... He's a big guy, actually. But you, 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 you've, you've graced you me with that extra inch. Have you shrunk, have you? Ever since you cut your hair off? That was my heel. Yeah, exactly. That's just my hair. It's my volume. So, naturally, they paired Tom up with a guy whose name even suggests how tall he is. <laughs> Do you remember it? Was it? Was it Tid? It was Tid! <laughs> <laughs> so, Tid isn't the tallest gentleman in the world. He's uh, maybe about five, six, five, seven, maybe. I, sorry, Tid, if you're, if you're much taller than that. He's a lovely bloke. And the, the weird thing is, I only know Tid as Tid. I think his first name might be James, but no one ever calls him <laughs> James. I thought, I thought he was christened Tid. <laughs> For all we know, his mum went, I'm calling him Tid. <laughs> And Tid. <laughs> you probably went, oh, Tid. Yeah. Oh, no, let's, yeah, anyway, carry on. <laughs> so we do this scene, and Tid and Tom are like talking, and, like, and you're like being your usual lovely, friendly self. Like, all right, mate, how you doing? You're in a maze, am I in a maze? Yeah, all right. <laughs> <I'm there." laughs> and he's like, yeah, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm all right, thanks, mate. Yeah, well, you know, really looking forward to doing this. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And he's basically the way he described it is someone went action and you went <laughs> <laughs> and just started battering down on poor Tid. And he said his life flashed before his eyes, even though he's playing a character who was undead and couldn't die. He saw his entire life story flash before his eyes. Oh as you <laughs> I think he was maybe a foot in the floor by the time we finished that scene. I think he was, yeah. 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 Neither it was a big crack in the floor after I, uh, I'd finished with him. 
There you go. There yeah, you that go. was that was that was a. Uh, the thing is, as well with that scene, we were in, remember we were in really close quarters, and I remember just like blades kind of coming across us. Do you remember that? Because we were all I so tight. I do. I. Well, didn't they then add rubber swords like a year later to the the <laughs> yeah. the, the extra? They were like, to yeah, the budget, I think we better give people. <laughs> They had a... Well, it wasn't just budget, it was just to save people's faces. Well, Tommy Ward got a crack in the head, didn't he? Did he? Tommy oh. Ward had to go and have stitches. Yes, he did. Not in that scene, though. Which one was he? <laughs> yeah. Remember he got a crack in the top of his head? I don't know if it was that scene. It was, it was, I remember it being in a dungeon. It was a dungeon, whether we used it for a different scene, but yeah. Yeah, that... That one time we were in a dungeon. Yeah. Tom, my friend, I believe you got a question for us, right? Uh, I'd like to ask a question, please. Um, so wow. the, the question is, uh, who was the Black Knight? Tristan Dubois, Gola, the Fisher King, Lancelot. <laughs> Can we go again, please? <laughs> Galois or Gorloy. It's uh, Galois, that's it. Not Galois, sometimes but... pronounced one of those two ways. I don't know. Galois. I pulled, pulled my Galois once. It's really painful. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, that's more. Words than you ever spoke in Merlin. Well done. You really well. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you. Oh, there we go. And me. On me. Well, that, on me. That fooled absolutely nobody. And 604 people got it right. There you go. So, what's that done to the results? People actually did their research for this. Gabby. Oh, so the, the summer moved up here. So they have moved up. Gabby is sort of making a bit of a starting to break away here. Mordred, Alex, Alex Vlahos is playing. Yeah, <laughs> Jacqueline, Kaya, Kayla, even. Well done, guys. Gabby, El Elise is crossing swords. Oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, Tom, you got another question for us, mate? I have another one. Uh, what was Guinevere's father's name? What was Guinevere's father's name? Will, Sam, Tom, or Gareth? Got a little Quiz. Bit of, yeah. Got a little bit of trivia about this after uh, the answer is revealed. Oh, there she is. Oi, oi. Yeah. Is that the start <laughs> show or the end? That's the end. She's the queen, isn't she? Oh, uh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Look you at were, uh, you were dead by that. By you gone. Yeah. Me and me and Rupert were standing there in the in the audience, told to look sad. Not saying <laughs> it's the most anything. direction we ever got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, six hundred and forty-one people knew it was Tom. Is Google that quick? I don't know. Um, okay, here's a bit of trivia for you, right? The first scene we ever shot with Angel was a scene where she got arrested. And the original script had me say, Guinevere Thomas, you're under arrest. Then later on, a dad <laughs> turns up called Tom. Thomas Thomas. Brilliant. Are you serious? Thomas Thomas? 100%. 100%. And then I think when they sort of like got further down the line with the editing process, they went, oh, I think that might look a bit silly. So they changed it. Or they just got rid of the surname and they became just... So did we meet her dad a few times? Then? We met him, I think, in... Ooh, good question. That was a That's not a real question. Sorry, exactly, I shouldn't exactly throw that question. in the middle. Actually, Rupert, I've got a quiz question for you, mate. Yeah. Just specifically for you. This isn't a question for, for everybody. 
Um, right. Your first episode, Rupert. Yeah. Do you remember which one it was? That's not the question. Uh, it was episode two. <laughs> that's, that's, two. That's it. Episode what two. Was three, it? Two. Here's the question. Do you remember what the first thing you said was? Oh, on I screen, I on screen or off, like filming? On screen. Ah, uh, fuck, because the line I messed up was the King Commands of Presence <laughs> yeah, of I remember that. Um, it would have been my Lord. Oh, fuck, it's when I got off the, the horse, wasn't it? It Perfect, is when you got off the horse, yeah. In the jousting You talk here. to me and you go, what the hell do you think you're doing? Yeah, why, go, don't you, why don't you throw your joust at me? Yeah, uh, and I went, uh, <laughs> I can't remember. Do you know what the answer is? Yeah, that's why I asked you the question. Um, here's what you said, and I won't, I won't do justice to the delivery at all. Um, I was fearful that I might injure you, sire. Ah, yes. That is I the was first thing I might injure you, said. Sir. And what a delivery it was, too. Start as you mean to go on, mate. Knock it out of the park. Oh, and I just remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Me fiddling with my helmet. It was, oh, it's glorious. Excellent. Well, um, that takes us on to uh, another one of the Thomases. Ooh. And mystery guest number three, hopefully. Hopefully, mystery guest number three. That's number five, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have we got mystery guest number three? Let's, let's see. Here he is. Hey! Hey, that's Whoa! a What's going on? <clears throat> what on earth is this backdrop we're looking at? Hey, this is, do you not remember when we filmed here? <laughs> Where is, is that? that? Um, I remember that. That's, um, yeah. yeah. We That's filmed the there. Game of Thrones uh, prestige. Oh, yeah, I know where it is. We filmed there when um, Queen, the Queen of Carleon brought her army and she had that massive, like, fighter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The Canadian guy. Yeah, Can yeah, the, yeah. Heat, the giant. People are screaming at Robert, me. At Robert Maillet, I've just worked with him again recently. I actually had a fight with him. In, in some, and uh, he's a big up. guy. You're probably one of the only times he's had a fight with someone his own size. No, nah, mate, he dwarfs me. He's ridiculous. He is a very, he is a very large. He's a giant of a man. Yeah, has to be said. But also one of the nicest. He's like a lovely human being. I do remember that. I do remember that about him. Tommy, what? How you doing, sir? Not bad, hanging in there. Um, yeah. You know, I've been watching this with much interest. <laughs> we need to. Uh, I think we're giving them too much time for the questions. What do you think? They are very good at this. It turns out. However, thankfully, we have a speed point scoring system, which is oh, very good. good. You know, just sort of separate. I do want to shout out Gabby though, who's showing love for me, unlike my co. Uh, <laughs> my co knights who just completely had no idea um, um, about my episode. Just oh, really? That's my <laughs> that's my Rupert, thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I forgot. It was a lot. I didn't remember. Yeah, my first no line. love, it's no love so, lost. Don't take it. I do, man. Like a dagger to the heart. I genuinely have to say, Tommy Watt, that episode, yeah. I absolutely love that episode, and I love filming those scenes with you, mate. They were, I, I, the way they came out as well, I was so happy with them. And uh, uh, Yeah, me too. I think it was, it was a lot of fun to shoot, and uh, yeah, it, it turned out really nicely. Yeah. Was that the one that uh, I punched you? Uh, yes. I'm listening about you. Oh, yeah, you knocked me out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there wasn't much. I've got to take what I can, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tommy, what? Um, shall we do a question? Well, mm. just before we do, mate. Yeah. What I have here is the Merlin top trumps. Oh wow! Yes, brothers. Right now, if I look at the four of us, okay. Yeah. 
There's six categories on these top trumps. This, when I came across these top trumps, this might have been the happiest day of my Merlin career. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Understandably so. I, I was happy but livid at my scores. I was like, oh my God. And then went, you know what, I'm a top trump. <laughs> there were a few controversial <laughs> scores. Well, you always know that with top trumps, like if you get a card that has the highest possible score in something, you've got a you got to win. And myself and Tom have got have got that in a category. So we've got six categories, Tommy Watt. Right? <clears throat> yeah. And there's one in particular that you beat the other three of us on. So I'm going to read them out to you. They are magic, strength, Definitely. battle skills, leadership, and wisdom. Do you know which one that might be? <laughs> I mean, strength, obviously. Whoa. Oh, no. My That's a big claim. This. <laughs> that is a big claim. And um, wisdom. you'd be wrong. Wisdom, you'd be right. Didn't Tom get more strength than the, uh, the dragon? Than Tom. a dragon. <laughs> Tom gets 10. It's marked out of 10. Tom gets 10, right? And the dragon had 10 for strength. So what we're saying is that Tom... Tom just the dragon. dragon had nine, I think. The what? I think the dragon had nine. Wow, well, he's got he's got the reference on the wall. I'm pretty sure the dragon had nine. The dra the dragon has nine. Yeah. Tom, what about wisdom? Is he wiser than uh, than Elian? The dragon's pretty much the wisest character going. It has to be said. Okay. I also Damn. say, unfortunately, though, um, the I think that was a typo. I, I think Percival did have the lowest score on wisdom. Uh, <laughs> it's not the best score. Yeah. It's not the greatest score. I mean, yeah, he didn't talk enough to have wisdom, really. He was wise in his moments of silence. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> brothers. I appreciate it. That's, like, that's the wisest thing to do. I could, I could learn that lesson myself. True, true. Um, all right, Tommy Wah. Lovely yeah, to have we you this question. Lovely to have, us, have you with us. I believe you've got a question, right? I do. Everyone ready? In which Welsh Abbey was the first appearance of the Round Table filmed? This was a very memorable day. Ooh. Two yeah. teams, as well as, uh, in, in, uh, as well as in the series. It was. What are the options, Tommy Wah? Uh, the options are Neath, Tintern, Tally, and Margan. I had a day with someone from Tintern. <laughs> <laughs> He couldn't even hold it together. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, she just, I swiped the wrong way. <laughs> oh, there it is. Look at it. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, actually, magical day. Can I tell you a story about this? Let's Please. There, there I'm are many stories, this one. Is this a story I want to know, or do I, can I wait at this point? Um, <laughs> the, the oldest out of all of us has got prostate problems. No, come on, I'm going to hear it then. Come on. <laughs> Um, so, oh wow, that that sort of uh, put a cat the pigeons. Ooh, Gabby, Gabby oh. for the win. Gabby is run is absolutely killing this. So, Bradis, at least it's all, yeah. All right, I'll tell you a little. I'll tell you a little story about this. Um, when I first got told that I was going to be playing King Arthur, I was in my apartment that I had my flat, uh, it was my drama school flat with my two drama school flatmates. And I got the phone call and they said, guess what, you're gonna be playing King Arthur. And my two flatmates were just, they're going mental. They were running around and I was just sort of sat quite still, probably in shock or something. But I remember very spe uh, specifically, there was one moment I was thinking about I hadn't read anything to do with it in the script or anything like that, but there was one moment that I pictured in my head. And that was the introduction of the round table. And I just, you know, it was always on the back burner in my, you know, in my mind of, you know, it was a very much a, <clears throat> a, a the prize of, of this or, or, you know, a moment I was so looking forward to and nervous about even to like the day it came to it. 
I was like traveling in. I didn't really say that much. Uh, you know, we sort of got there filming that I was pretty quiet because I was, I was just, I was nervous and excited at the same time. And there, all the way through a shoot in that scene, with all you guys round the, round the table, and it actually coming to uh, like fruition. I, that moment coming, you know, just coming to, coming, just arriving there in front of me, I couldn't believe it. And I, and I think even in the scene, there's not really that much acting required because you can sit, I, I'm sort of like had to fight back welling up because you're all standing up and like devoting your, your lives to the cause of Camelot. And I was, <laughs> I'm just there trying to not just like, oh my God, guys, <laughs> thank you so much. But it was, it was potentially, it was possibly uh, the best moment in the whole, the whole shoot for me, just because of that, what I'd, what I'd imagine it would, was going to be, it completely surpassed that as well, because of the adversity and the, the circumstances the characters are going through. And then the fact that you guys were there, and by the time we, we you know, come to film it, we sort of built these relationships, these friendships, and you guys were there with me in this moment that I'd imagined since the start of it. Of course, when I first imagined it, you guys were all like a bit sort of like more, more manly and sort of better looking, but even so. Brad, is, it's okay. You don't have to, <laughs> no, you, can, you can cry. You can cry, you're among friends. You don't have to, you know, we don't need bitches though. But there you go. And so I'm pleased, to, I'm pleased that you, to hear you say that it was a very special day. Uh, it was, yeah. I, I always was. felt like it was, a, it was a special moment. Like we never really spoke about it at the time, but when we were in it it felt like a special moment to be there and also i think for me personally being there's an element of like acting being knighted as a knight at the round table that felt special you know i really enjoyed it and there was something empowering about it and it felt felt like we were we were being brought in officially to the to the, the knighthood it was great and actually the day that we shot that scene was uh i think was a very, a was a very good what's that <laughs> sorry Bad no, it was a very good on. bonding day because like, we started you know we i mean i think we got up with something stupid like 3 a.m to sort of you know travel out to neath and then um and and it was like the first time that we had like we the whole gang like not just the knights but with um, with the rest of the cast and sort of, you know, it was unusual to have everyone filming um, together. And because we were so far away, we'd all traveled together. And we spent a good, yeah. after rehearsals, a good like three, three hours, sort of in the early, early hours of the day, just sharing stories. And uh, over the course of that day, I think we made the, yeah, we made some very good bonds. And we, made, we uh, yeah. I remember changing my opinion about Macken, about Owen, from the 3 a.m. pickup pick up. through the end of the day, because I remember yeah. thinking, this guy's a grumpy git at the beginning of the day. And I think by the end of it, going, oh, that's quite a nice chap. <laughs> well, we got picked up at 3 a.m. because we knew if you picked us up at that time, we actually needed to wait for Owen. Otherwise, we would have been oh, caught yeah. fire. <laughs> That was a great we learned that yet though. We hadn't learned We that. had all those photos, didn't we? Was that where we had all those photos and Santiago was there and then we had Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, Santiago. Yeah. Weird, wasn't it? They're here somewhere. It's dark in here now, but I mean I'll turn the light on. Um Okay. Bit of reminiscing there. Uh there is just had a message through that we've got to just let our audience know. Um a couple of Dozen people have had trouble accessing the quiz. I'm going to wait. I'll be back. Have fun. Um, or they got in later than than the start of it. Um, we're very sorry. Thank you for your patience with what's going on. Obviously, I'm involved, so there's technical issues. Inevitable. Um, don't get angry with redemption pause. Get angry at this guy. It'll definitely be my fault <laughs> in some some way, shape, or form. <laughs> Um, the Kahoot code, for those of you who need it, is at the bottom of the screen. Okay, and again, my apologies if it uh, has not gone perfectly smoothly for you tonight, but hopefully you're with us now. 
and we can uh, we can get on with it. So Tell we kick what, on. Do you want to read the next? Uh, I believe you've got ne the next question. I I mean I'd be really I think I'd be really excited to. Fantastic! Far away. Um, what is the name of Arthur's mother? Helena, Vivian, Igraine, Nimue. There we go. Who's that? Someone visiting someone. Let's just see. Has that screen come up? It's come up. There we go. The actress involved here was the, the lovely Alice Patton. Um, who was wonderful to work with, I have to say. Do you, uh, Four, three, two, one. Good, strong mother, mother, son bond. Yeah, there's always a there's always a query though. Wow, everybody got that right. Um, there's always a query <laughs> though as to whether it was the voice of her or the voice of more goes. Gabby. Well, at least it's hot in your tail, but Gabby, Lily is back in the fold. It's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. Welcome back, Rupert. Thank you so much. Um, Gabby, well, she's, you're she's just in time because uh, producer Melalu, uh, I believe we've got uh, you have some more from the... Um, from the audience who may have made a bit of an effort tonight. We've got a couple more people who showed some star form on Twitter today. So I'm going to bring you on board one at a time. First up is Kim Sirag. Welcome to the party. If you uh, accept whoop, whoop. the Kim invitation Sirag. to join us. Are we getting them at the same time this time? They're going to join you Ramping on screen. Up. Hey, Melalu, I, uh, I seem to be the only person who's not got their character name up. I didn't want to make you feel too special. Would you like a uh, king or prince? Let's go with king. I want you the king. We can do that for you. No, it's prince nonsense. Come on. Boom. There you are. Who have we got? Kim Sirag. Here Kim we go. Sirag. Sirag. How are you? How's she doing? She's got a button to press. She's going to be joining us soon. Looking forward to seeing what this is going to be. Nice backdrop, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we had to, I like the way you morph into it a little bit, and you're not quite sure if it's you, if it's you or the picture of you in the backdrop. That was uh, Neath. That was that uh, was it, Neath. That one. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Such a good day that one. What was it? Because you're all in chainmail. No, that was in uh, that place uh, with the Wolverine. The when we first did it. Not Wolverine. Yeah, the Wolverine. <laughs> you oh jacked. yeah, of course, of course. That was the uh, Wilderin. Wilderin, that's it. The, yeah. The one. Do, you do you guys remember doing a scene? Alice was directing us, and we kept. We all had like the the question's gone now. The Gaia berries on our face, like they're basically like yeah, gel. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. Like shower gel. Yeah. And the camera would pan across, and everyone was laughing. However, the outtakes has basically chosen the one where I'm there. Kim has joined us! Yay. She's connecting to audio. We'll create some audio while she uh, does her thing. Hi, Kim. You probably can't say anything in return, but maybe you can hear us. Missing Arthur Pendragon. What is that behind you? A missing sign. There we go. Ooh. While we're waiting for Kim's audio, she's found you. She, but she, here I am. Here it's I so am. So close, so me. close. Yes, yeah, so far. Melu, how we how we doing on audio? What do you think's going on here, mate? I believe it might be um, Kim's computer having a fight with Zoom at her end. I'm afraid. Ah, I see. All right, should we should we maybe try and come back to Kim? I'm going to leave Kim there, so if, if her audio starts working, she can appear. Um, we've also got Shona L. I'm going to bring Shona L up. Oh, Kim's with us. Kim, can you hear us? Can we hear you? <laughs> oh, and we've got Shona as well. Hello. Kim, bear oh. with us. Shona! 
<laughs> Hello, my darling. Hey. Hello. You've come, Sir Leon. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Shona, do you work at the National um, Archives? Archives. Yes, I do. <laughs> We're, we're going to try and come and pay you a visit, I believe. Yes, you are. I think it's going to have to be next season because like everybody else, we're closed down just now. Glad you're being responsible uh, with that. Absolutely. Apart from the hairstyle. I mean, you say that, but I would say it was responsibly You've fitting. You've never met her before, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, where, where Welcome, you? Kim. Oh, Kim's joined us as well. Can, you, can we hear you, can Kim? Can you hear us? No. Kim, give us a no, mic check. No, Shown I think she's still, uh, we don't have any yeah. microphone. Kim, give us Kim. something. Yeah. Maybe use maybe use hand gestures. We can <laughs> <laughs> keep at it. Keep at it, Kim. Um, Shona, where are you? Uh, where are you? I say calling. What what is this called? <laughs> zooming. Where are you zooming us from? I'm zooming from exotic West London. Excellent. It's the National Archives. You're in like Kew Gardens, aren't you? Near Kew. Yeah, that, um, we are two kilometres west of Kew Gardens. So when you come out of Kew Station, you go one way for the gardens and you go the other way for the archives. I go past yeah. it on the train a lot because I live quite close to there. And it's, uh, it's an amazing building. It is. It is. You should come down and have a look at our swans. Oh, I'd love to. We've got swans. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Well, when this is over, I will. I won't recognise you because I'm guessing you don't wear that wig to. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you say. I'll bring the swans out. You say that. I've, I've gone a bit. I've gone a bit bonkers since I started working at home, and I had a a video call with my chief executive a couple of weeks ago, and I was a bit bored, so I dressed up as Wonder Woman for it. Is that part of the costume? The pink hair. Um, no, it's not. This is the debut. This is going to be shown on video conferencing next week at work. Oh, so don't okay. tell it. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> yeah. Um, where are you from originally, Shona? Uh, Fife, Dunfermline. Ah, oh, nice. Can you tell? I mean, not English accent. All I could tell was north of the border. It was <laughs> charming, the charming vocal tone that was coming at me. I was like, ooh, where is that one? <laughs> Um, oh, is anyone else seeing two Kims right now? We are blessed with two Kims, yes. Is Kim, is Kim audible? Neither oh, of them have oh, sound. Anyway. Oh, there you go. How are we doing, Kim? How's it going? She's still struggling. Okay. No, no sound. Well, I think we're going to we have to uh, well, pencil that one up to Zoom, stopping us having uh, having Kim. Whoa! <laughs> oh my God! We've just been <laughs> Zoom bombed. <laughs> Hackers have got in. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Shona, my darling, thank you so much for yeah. joining us uh, tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much for um, for what you've done for Redemption Pools as well. They are they are over welcome. At it. So thank you so much. And I will come and visit you as well. Can there Kim we hear anything? She's connected to audio. Kim, give us a wave if you can hear us. She's on mute now. Kim, you can speak to us. Oh, we can't oh. hear. No, oh, no, we no. can't hear you. Oh, close. Put your volume up. I tell it. If Kim just holds that. Melu, do we have another? Do we have another guest? Uh, I'm afraid, and um, the third person we were going to speak to wasn't available. However, if you bear with me just one second, oh yeah, uh, we're going to see if we can bring on board the delightful type it. Ellen. Type it, Kim. Type it. <laughs> so, oh, Ellen Rivier. Ellen. <clears throat> Hey, don't you worry, Kim, all right? Oh, she, she might be writing something down. Write as a sign. 
We're pleased to have you anyway, Kim. We're sorry that we put you through the struggle of having to try and put your audio on. He's got a sign saying missing. Got a sign of her own. Yeah. Missing, Arthur Pendragon. Once and future king. There you go. And other stuff. Uh, here I am. <laughs> Who is this? Is this Helen? It is indeed. Helen! Bonsoir! Ça va? Ça va? How are you, my darling? Great. Thank you. Fantastic. That is an exceptional outfit. Yes. Fantastic. You should wear it there in Pierrefonds. Sorry if I don't understand you very well. My English is very poor. Okay. We will, we will try our best to. Mais mieux que leur français, j'ai dit. Ah, <laughs> it's a little French. <laughs> I'm um, so happy to be with you tonight. Thank you. Where, so where, where in France are you Zooming from? Corsica. In Corsica. Ah. Corsica. Island in south of France. Okay, I see. I can see a big Ben outside your window as well. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Matthew Melayu. In Manchester United. Oh, States. thank you. Merci beaucoup. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> uh, yes. can, someone, can someone mute Melody, please? <laughs> I'll mute myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alan, how are you doing in the in the quiz? A two wrong question, but very hard question. Which ones? Uh, the director and uh. the family was not in my notes. <laughs> you're prepared. <laughs> Helen, am I right in saying that you've listened to the podcast? Yes, I'm a you, fan. You, you've been wonderful for us. You've given us so much to, to work with. Thank you so much. Thank you to you. I love the podcast. I love all the drafters. It's very good. I don't understand very well sometimes when you hold. We don't that. understand each other sometimes. Or sometimes it has <laughs> but to be it's similar. very good, and I'm so happy to be with you tonight. Oh. So and happy I put you, my you. best outfit for you. Thank you, my darling. You look wonderful. Thank and, you. Uh, I'm so pleased but that you. Why am I not in King Arthur? The what? And your crown. I. They didn't let me keep the crown. Oh. <laughs> oh, Owen's just... got it. Owen. Owen next to it. Yeah, they I have... melted it down. I have my shield. Uh, you've got your shield, however. Uh -oh. so one of us came prepared. Ellen, thank you so much for joining us, thank my dear. You for having me tonight. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Good luck with the rest of the quiz. Okay, okay here we go. Uh, Tomiwa, you've got another... Have you read two questions, Tomiwa? I have. Then that means only one thing. It's probably time to bring another guest in. Should we relieve uh, Kim of her frozen peril? Kim has actually frozen, so she's on her way off. Uh, but yeah. in the meantime, let's bring in another guest and I'll put, bump them up the ranks. Kim, thank you for joining us, my darling. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We're sorry that we couldn't get We can maybe try it later. Maybe give a go later. There you go. Um, all right. I believe we've got a mystery guest coming up. Who could that be? It's still a mystery by the looks of it. Yeah, I think he flung it. <laughs> <laughs> my word. Time went my love. Hey! <laughs> hey! What's boys? <laughs> Why, well, Tracy have... has joined us. Oh, what's happening? I've been drinking on my own here for about four hours, so, you know. Four weeks. <laughs> 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 it's good to see you. Are you hiding your head due to the haircut you've given yourself, or no? You said to dress up. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I can't deny it. I can't deny it. Um, and you've not, you've not let the side down, mate, at all, at all. Um, very smart. Well, well, Rupert, I wasn't sure of the tone of this Zoom thing, so I just thought I would wear everything. And then, oh, I love it. Every item of clothes. You've got yourself covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Just First of all, um, Owen, I want to, um, I think, thank 
you on behalf of a lot of people uh, for these wonderful videos of the adventures of you and Bill that we've been seeing on Instagram. They're particularly entertaining. I feel like the friendship you and Bill have struck up have been... It's not a friendship at all, actually. It's actually more of a... No. Who's Bill? Yeah. Who the fuck's Bill? Bill is basically my only friend in the world right now. <laughs> you remind me of Gene Wilder in that movie. It's uh, it's very beautiful. I have you seen that movie, Gene Wilder in the Falls in Love with the Sheep, Woody Allen film. I haven't seen. I, I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, Owen, mate, do you, um, I've got one word for you. And that's one word only. I wonder if Rupert's going to hear this word. Goat. So. All right, and you're to talk, use your real voice, not your acting voice. You gotta speak up. <laughs> 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 oh, I'll do some of my acting voice now. I'll do some real voice now. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> Owen, I believe you've got a question for us, mate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get some light on the situation. That was basically Owen in every scene that we ever did. Just inaudible. So go. I mean this is a good way to test. I think Gabby's just lost the play. Gabby is freaking out right now. This is this is just uh, everyone's got a twenty five percent shot at this one. <laughs> do, you want to do, do it again. <laughs> no, I think we're good. I think we got it. Well, there are three things needed in the famous lands: are strength, magic, and uh, what bravery, courage, uh, honor, and uh, and. Love. Excellent. <laughs> can you all try? It's like your audition. Can you also can right? Has, <laughs> has the question come up? I can't even see. Do we have the? Yeah, oh, are you there? The question hasn't been effectively asked by the uh, the person asking the question yet. All right, Owen, do you want to uh, give that another go? Or should we? I'll, I'll, I'll do my, my Bradley James acting voice. So three things needed in the perilous lands: <laughs> strength, magic, <laughs> and. Let me tell you a story about this question. <laughs> <laughs> I was on set with a show called Merlin. Uh, and the last question is what? And the four choices are bravery, courage, honor, and luck. Wait, I didn't get that question. What's the question? Tell me what this Three is. Three things needed in the perilous lands are strength, magic, and what? Bravery, courage, honor, and luck. And luck. I'd, I'd definitely go with them luck. Three things, one of the things needed to understand Macken's acting voice. Luck. Um, a lot of, a lot of <laughs> and luck. <laughs> so uh, there was a character played by Warwick Davis. His name was Gratia. And... Is that his name? Gratia, I believe. I don't know if that's specifically how you pronounce it, but Gratia. No good. one ever knew how to pronounce anything, really. <laughs> Even the writers. They just went, <laughs> yeah. let's see what they say. They threw some gravel tiles out on the script and went, yeah, that'll do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like it makes sense. Let's go with this. Uh, well done, 482 of you. These questions are far too easy. Um, oh. Well, if we had a change at the top, no, Gabby is still holding strong. At Lily, least, at least Cross well. Swords just took a massive drop. Yes. <laughs> well, she's not in the top five, so she might be six. It might not have been that big. <laughs> well, what's the points difference here? 
Uh, Maz is the highest climber. Well done, Maz. 119 places. Um, Melalu. Yes. Have we got anyone who wants to come and talk? Or do we have Kim back? You I, I think wait. Kim's technical issues are going to stop. Um, stop a few. Can we talk to Gavin? Online. Is that possible? <laughs> if yeah. you want, we could. I could look at getting some more people. If you wanted to go through another few questions, I can get some more people lined up for you. All right, line them up. We'll get. We'll let uh, a couple more questions go and we'll go through, and we'll, we'll uh, ask Owen for his next question. Uh, what? I have another question. Yeah. yeah. Next one. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Um, Owen13, Tommy what? Nope, that's the question. <laughs> 13. That's me. <laughs> which, which king's... <clears throat> which king's... I'm a little concerned for Owen's prospects. Post when we get out of the third scene. Oh, why am I getting flashbacks to being on set with Maka? Oh. <laughs> but, 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 Which king's son did Arthur kill in a duel? Bayard, Odin, Senred, Aralian, and So, which king's son did Arthur kill in a duel? Was it Bayard, <laughs> Odin, Senred, or Alanaid? <laughs> You guys know the answer to this? Yeah. yeah. No. I don't know either. We don't need to know the answer, but we know. Who you know played? It. Who played Bradley? Who played the son of one of these people? Um, I can tell you who played the uh, answer to the question. So yeah, not his son. The answer was Finton Mickeyone. Uh, Mickeyone. Uh, ah. He played Owen. He played Odin. <laughs> <laughs> Owen, 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 and then he play Owen Mackin in his spare time, doing impersonations of him. Which is a very easy thing to do. This yeah. is actually Finton now pretending to be Owen. <laughs> <laughs> Just put on a hat, you'll be fine. <laughs> Just say hello to stuff in a row. <laughs> uh, very, very good. Very good, Gabby. She's keeping it up. Lilia. Mordred, Emma, and Corin. All right. Um, I've got a question for you now, guys. Yeah. Uh, question number 14 we are on. How many questions are there? 20 85. 85. <laughs> 14 of 100. Um, question number 14 is as follows. What was the name of Katie's tiger-clad hot water bottle? Was it Hugo? Was it Seamus? Was it Victor? Or was it Tony? So, what is it? What's the on? reason I know the answer to this is because I texted her the other day and she told me. It's like Carol Baskin, man. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> that tiger looks full. Maybe it ate someone. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Man, how did you get away with that? Um, okay. Oh, we've got 60 seconds for this question. Quick, guys, we better fill. We've got a, hop, we've got, we've got a whole we've got 22 seconds left to burn. Owen, tell us about your outfit. Glad you asked, Bradley. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was looking forward to you asking. So the thing about my outfit is that, you know, uh, oh, look at that, we're out of time. <laughs> Are you in, you're in LA, right, Mac? Is it not warm in that outfit? Yeah. Wow. There you go. We finally got a question that split up the answers a little bit. A lot of people went for Tony the Tiger, which I was I was kind of hoping for. Seamus. Oh, 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 oh man, it's been white. That has changed everything. Ah, oh, Petra Digiger is right up there. 
Sounds <laughs> like one of the questions we had to ask. What was what? He was the <laughs> Merlin character. Slowly but surely is winning the race now. I feel like the leaderboard's completely changed. I don't recognise any of those names from the last screen. And all those people quick on the trigger. Yeah. I don't know the story about the Jack Rabbit and the Box Turtle. We know who's going to win this, this race. Um, it? No, Who, who's that? No, no one else. The tortoise and the, the tortoise and the hare. No, the, the jack oh, rabbit and the box turtle. Nobody else is has seen the it? Irish version. Have you not seen the movie The Hunt? No. I've not seen The Hunt. No. It doesn't matter. No. Is it? I mean, I could, tell us about it. This is a real movie. I could tell you the model. Oh, it's a real movie. It's in the cinema right now. I saw it in a drive-in about five days ago. And no one can go to the cinema right now. What? You can go to a drive-in movie theater. Oh, your... sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. What? That's that's I'll not play. staying at home. That's that's definitely not staying at home. It's definitely uh, not shelter in place either. Are you disobeying your governor? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm just, you know. What are you doing? What is the rule on going in a car somewhere? Because technically, you're still self-isolating. Uh, I don't think anybody knows. And Shelter in place doesn't sound like getting a car and drive off. I really don't think one of us should give a definitive answer of that because people are watching and someone impressionable might follow what we say. That's, well... Hmm. Well, because we don't know. Yeah. I, I don't think anybody knows. I just listened to what the WHO... Well, the WHO... We know. You can actually follow, follow a WhatsApp group on, the, on, your, on your WhatsApp. The WHO, World Health Organization, do have a, an app um, on your WhatsApp and you can ask them all the questions. They'll give you all the details for every country and everything that's happening. That is the most that's sensible really thing good. I've ever heard Owen ever say. Yeah. And but we don't know. There's probably someone going, I'll buy that. And then he's texting weird <laughs> shit. It's probably Owen. He's going, yeah, if you, the, the hunt is at a drive through It's all right. <laughs> right, guys. <laughs> Has anyone Rupert. else ever been to a drive through uh, cinema? I'd love to. Have you ever been? No. Anyone yeah. else? I never have, no. I believe you have a next question for us. Is this number 15? This is number 15. This is me, yeah? Uh, this is you. Okay. What were Gawain's last words? Was it, it was from a corner? <laughs> or, <laughs> the love of carbon Or, I failed. Oh, pass me the beer. Quiz I, question. I, I don't know the that answer. Question was. I was going to say the words. I know the answer for this. What were Wayne? No, the years haven't been kind. No. <laughs> what were Wayne's last words. The, I mean, they, don't, they all seem like they could be the right answer. Was it? Is it Morgana? It was Morgana. For the love of Camelot, I failed. Pass me my beer. I mean, I feel like it probably wasn't question one because Tom, you know, Percival was there. So he probably know it was Morgana. Otherwise... Really? Yeah. Just tell everybody. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> a lot of people knew. I know. But knew. I love how 23 said, pass me the beer. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> What's that done for the scores? Rita T is up in the top five. Well done, Rita T. Uh, okay, that takes us on to question 16. Tom. Oh, he's gone silent. Tom, I think you're on mute, mate. Tom, you're muted. Thomas. You're muted. Unmute yourself. There you go. There we go. Can you hear me? <coughs> you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Me, too, my friend. Right, the meat of what animal is in the stew Arthur makes Merlin eat during the famine? Pigeon, rat, mouse, or toad? Tom, that was excellent reading. <laughs> really good. Thanks, Tom. I couldn't hear that. Your, your wisdom just went up. Now, well, is, a pigeon, is a pigeon an animal? Or is <laughs> this still is actually from the scene itself. Very enjoyable scene, this one. Also from the Labyrinth of Gadreth. Bradley, that still could be from any episode. In the <laughs> 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 
That is true. That is true. Uh, wow. I mean, 22, well, people, got that, 22 people got that wrong. Um, which meant a lot of people got that right. Oh, who just whizzed up the charts there? Oh, Petra Digi for the win. Petra, Pet, Petroia. Petroia. <laughs> you sure it's Petra? <laughs> we need to get her on to ask her. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Yeah, How did you say that? Detroit? Yeah. Let's go with it. Maybe they're just very bad at spelling. No, it's a, it's a fantastic name. Um, okay, tell me what. I assume yeah. We ready? Good question, right? It's Croatian, perhaps. According to Taliesin, where did magic begin? The Crystal Cave, the Forbidden Forest, the Isle of the Blessed, or the Lake of Avalon? Oh, what's that? What is that? Taliesin. Do you guys remember Taliesin? So are you asking us? Yeah. Did they sing Umbo? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, 450 people knew that. Well done, everybody. And Emma. Emma's celebrating already. She's celebrating already. She's, it's like she scored the goal. She's turned away before the shot, the ball's hit the back of the net. She's wheeling away. I mean, that's, that's a lot of inference based off one emoji, but all right. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, that, what number question was that? 17. That was 17. <clears throat> 17. So, shall we bring in some more of the audience? Have we got some, Melody? Oh, we have indeed. I'm going to bring someone in right now. So, becoming a panellist is Nicole Rock. So, come on board and join Rock us on, on Nicole. Screen. Nicole Rock. Let's see. I'm just trying to get my screen going here. I saw Nicole sent us a picture earlier. She yeah. made a cape and had an amulet and all sorts. It was looking pretty special. I really wish I knew how to use technology better. Um, where are we? Ah, Nicole! Nicole! <laughs> Hello, my darling. Hello. Um, so is it nighttime there? So good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Is, is, is it nighttime? Where are you? It's nine. Here. It's um, 3.41 a.m. <laughs> so. Oh, my word, Nicole, I'm so sorry <laughs> keeping you up this late. No, it's okay. I just um, got off work and went here <laughs> while work? doing this costume. Yeah. Where do you work? I currently work from home because okay. of the quarantine, and I'm um, a software engineer. So it's just uh -huh. technology is kind of my thing. <laughs> Very good. So forgive me, Nicole, what are you... What are you dressed as? I I have no idea. I just put you threw anything. some stuff on. I threw a flower crown. I got a cape and I did a quick um, edit. So I had this amulet. Oh, so, lovely! In Merlin. Lovely. Yeah. Well, thank you for going to that effort, Nicole. Certainly appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, how's the quiz going for you? Um, it's actually going great. I didn't expect to have a lot of um, answered uh, questions. Would you like us to give you all the answers so you can win? No. <laughs> it's, it's too nice. No, that, that, was a, that was a test, Nicole. Yeah. Fast. Well done. It, it wasn't. Well, I'm happy to give you the answers. But yeah. <laughs> if you want the answers, make a sign. Nicole, honestly, <laughs> I would not get the answers or not try and get the answers from him. He definitely doesn't know them. I think you said this already, Nicole. Where are you zooming in from? I'm currently in the I'm in the Philippines. Ah, okay, yes, right. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for staying up this late. I mean, granted you're working, but thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for helping out Redemption Pause. They will be Thank you. Yeah. So with uh, we done. So thank you so much, my darling. Thank Thanks. you. Okay. Bye. All right. Who else we got, Matt? Okay. So if you bear with me just one second, we've been, yeah. um, 
a lot of people have, have been changing their usernames because obviously Zoom gets a little bit funny sometimes. So they've had to set up multiple accounts. So haven't been able to find everyone, but okay. next up is Sarah Gorman. Uh, she sent in a picture of herself in a castle and has got some rather lovely looking leather bound books and things by her side ready to add to the Atmos this evening. Many leather bound books. Well, you know. And my apartment smells of mahogany. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, hang on. There's a picture of Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Is she there? Who is she? She can't see her. Any moment. Any moment. We can Any wait. Any moment. We can wait. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you for asking about my hat, Bradley. Yes, I did get this hat. Uh, this is an homage to uh, the Black Sails, actually. <laughs> I think it's more Tiger King than Black Sails. Oh. It, it is. Sarah! <laughs> Hi. Hello, my darling. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? All the Pretty better. Good. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, guys. This is awesome. I was excited to. It's good money to a good place and for fun. So it's very kind of you. Yeah. Do you have any balls at the moment? Uh, Padding around your face. Down. Sorry, what was that? I said, do you have any pod? I do at home. I'm actually. Your, no. I'm in London to study, so I'm stuck here, and my my dog's back home in the U.S. Oh. My dad's Where from the U.S. Are you from Sarah. Nice. I'm from Chicago. Oh, okay. Great place. Right. Um, you sent us a little picture earlier. I did. I did. <laughs> but my slight, cute little Merlin outfit. I have a scarf and a dress. Uh, Merlin outfit and a dress. Kind of see it, what? Merlin outfit and a dress. I love the way you've adapted it. I have adapted female version. I mean, Merlin cross dresses in the show, doesn't he? So it works. <laughs> <laughs> we are um, excellent. Uh, how are you doing in the quiz? Um, I'm okay. I joined a little late, so I'm I'm a behind, but I'm not last, so that's good. <laughs> Congratulations. That's probably one of us, I think. <laughs> um, Sarah, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you for uh, thank you. Involved. And um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much. You too. Bye, darling. Take care. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Bye Sarah. Bye. Who have we got next, Mel? I've got a mystery guest for you. See if you recognise the person I'm bringing on screen. Oh! Way! Catherine McNamara, everybody. Oh, oh my God. God. Um, for those of you who watched the show, you'll remember that uh, Cat played Wildred number four in one of the episodes. Am I proud of uh, moment? Yes, yes. <laughs> Firmly placed on that CV. Um, how are you getting on with the quiz? I'm doing pretty well, actually, and I'm surprised given that it's been a minute because I brushed up on my Merlin trivia, but I'm, yeah. I'm Fantastic. Um, I didn't realize you were such a big Merlin fan. What? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, who's, your, who's your favorite character? I mean, it's a tough choice. I guess aside from a certain um, princely, kingly, pendragon type, I would probably have to say uh, Sir Leon, of course. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, well, well, look, look at that. Fantastic. There you go. I'd say, of course. Oh, my that God. At last. I think I mean, Kat might have been in the audience and during that premiere in Series 3. Yeah. 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 There's so there's There's so many, you know, great ones to choose from. But that's a little, that's I a little, still come uh, out that's a little sound so. to you, Tom. <laughs> well played, well played. So. Very good. Um, good Kat, play. how is, uh, how's Bob doing? Bob's doing all right. Um, for those of you who don't know, my, my quarantine companion is my boxing dummy, Bob, who, um, he, you know, he's a great listener, he's strong, silent type, but yeah. he doesn't really provide much to the conversation. So I think we're probably going to see other people after this. <laughs> oh, can Bob hear you as you say that? Or? Uh, I don't know because he has yet to speak back to me, but I think when he does start speaking to me is when I really have a problem. See, Tom, that's what we're talking about, the strong silent type, like that wisdom there you go. that you carry with, with silence. Less is more, less is more. Um, well, apart from when it isn't. 
you know. You're right. It's, just, so for it's us. what you put up with. <laughs> so you can you you have a choice. Um, Kat, am I right in believing you might have some information about this evening? I have just been informed that you guys have done such amazing work for Redemption Pause. And thank you to everyone who's played along with the quiz because it's been a record breaking fundraiser for Redemption Pause. Woo! And made wow. Thousand Canadian dollars for the charity and had fun to boot. So I think it's a win win for everyone. Amazing. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. That's like amazing. That's in about four days. Everybody watching this. Well bloody done, and thank yeah. you. You managed to raise a hell of a chunk of dough. It's going to go a long way. What was the figure it cut out when you said the, the figure? Uh, it's over 15,000 Canadian dollars. That's brilliant. Oh, amazing. That's brilliant. Okay. Okay. Amazing. Um, fantastic. Uh, Kat, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, I, uh, I I'm, I'm trust that you're probably... You're probably like, you've probably been hovering about sixth or seventh the whole time. Uh, well, I, I think I was there at one point, but I'm not exactly sure. I think I've been overtaken the last two questions. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll look out for you as we get towards the end. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And have a great day, you guys. Be well, be safe. All my love. You too. Take thank care. You so Lovely to meet you. Thank you so much, Kat. Bye bye. There we go. I like her. She should come back. She should be on the whole thing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, Owen is char in character. Um, ask Wayne. Mr. Oh. Blonde. What question number did we get to? I think we might have got to, oh dear, we've got to question number 18. My question is I've been holding my phone with this question for at least 25 minutes here. Perfect. <laughs> Fire away, mate. <laughs> Question number 18. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Something tells me he's going to... There we I, go. I, I, I think my screen had froze, but it hasn't. Which was, knight is killed that, by the questing beast? It wasn't frozen, that was just acting. Sir Pelinor, Sir Bors, Sir Owain, or well, Sir Bedivere? Which knight is killed by the questing beast? <laughs> 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 I'm getting my charger. Oh, wow. There's the questing beast right, right there in front of us. What a handsome devil he is. Hey, and he's smiling. He's happy to be here. Um, okay. Oh, that, again, that is more cat amongst the pigeons. 180 people thought it was Sir Pelinor. They were wrong. Emma's been, the top. Hey, Emma's been knocked off the top spot. And the person whose name we keep butchering has gone to the top. Congratulations, Detroya. So we need to know where Petr is from. So I'm, I'm, we should have, I'm guessing Croatia? I, yeah, possibly. Possibly. We need a phonetic spelling of that, really, don't we? Yes, uh, Rita T, Rita Pitsy, and Resin Subs. Resin Subs, that sounds like a 90, late 90s like R&B band. It does. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Raquel underneath is like their lead singer. <laughs> With Emma singing backing vocals. <laughs> Hoping to make it in the limelight someday. She was in the limelight. Over to make to the heights of Petra today. Yeah, celebrate too early. Uh, all right, I'll take the next question. Hit us. Is according to legend, how many knights of Madea were there? Your options. Are, <clears throat> your options are four, seven, ten, or eleven. Oh, there's some of them hanging out with more goats. Hey, that's a hell of a horse. <laughs> hell of a mane on that bad boy. It is. That's like when Donkey turns into the stallion in Shrek too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to make some comment about uh, Gawain's um, riding skills. Mate, <laughs> the forest. all his references about Pixar movies. 
There we go. Time's up. Three, three, oh, four. Can do that. We had the most amazing stunt horses in France, didn't we? We really yeah. did. We really did. <laughs> I really bonded with mine. They what? nearly killed me and Rupert. <laughs> that was... Uh, I don't think that was the horses. I think that was the that was, uh, the people giving them. The it was an operator issue. You yeah. remember Rupert had an adventure or two on a horse. It has to be said. Oh, he did. Someone told me what thought he could like, talk to his horse. Hey, that's all I had to do. I mean, yeah, we uh, we bonded. We were tight. You wander around the courtyard, kind of whispering into his hands that the horse would follow him, and he would. Well, follow. Yeah. I think I was the only one who did all my stunts on my horse. So. Is it because he could speak French to it? Because the horse <laughs> understood French. It's probably that. <laughs> Rupert, I think you're up next, my friend. Oh, I think that was God. all our problems with I the Welsh horses. None of us spoke Welsh. Yeah. <laughs> number 20. This is my favourite question. Uh, number 20. It's actually not. I've just seen what the question is. Uh, <laughs> who composed the music for Merlin? Was it Julian Jones, Justin Molodnikov, <laughs> Justin <laughs> Molodnikov, <laughs> Rob Lane, Jason Wood? I'd love it if it was Justin. That would be amazing. Oh, You're look at that man. graphic. Look I'll at be... that graphic. If it was Justin, it would be really hard, heavy techno, which would be. They're definitely Justin's hands. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to plug in. What have we got? Six. Hey, Rupert. Five. Hey, come on, mate. Oh, that looks like a lot of people went for Julian Jones. Oh. Uh, who actually, or Rob, was one of the creators of the show, but it was, in fact, Rob Lane. He was also helped out by Rohan Stevenson. Oh, look at, there you go. Um, the name we keep butchering, still top. So instead he wins a race. Raquel, the lead singer of Res and Subs. Res and Subs. Is up to second. And Rita T up in third. Emma's redeemed herself a little bit there, so she can afford to celebrate. Um, okay. Um, can we pause it? I'm just going to go put some money on a betting app because I want to bet. Petroja from Talon that she's going to win this. So Who's okay. your money on? Well, Petroja. Potential is you. Petroja? Petroja. What's he saying? I mean, that was, that very sentence was what we said a lot on set. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tom. Leave you up next, mate. Okie doke. <clears throat> the identity of which knight of Deira? Is that right? Deira? Am I pronouncing that right? Deira. Sounds good, yeah. Deira, the identity Deira. of which knight of Deira does Arthur assume for the jousting tournament? Sir Ooh. William, Sir Garant, Sir Thomas, Sir Edward. Oof. What a question. What a question. <clears throat> That's a bit of jousting. Oh, my first that. Yes. Uh, Owen, do you remember what your first line was in the show? Yeah, my first line was, what, what do they call you then? Almost. I think that was like your third line or second or third line, something like that. Your first line was, you've got yourselves into a bit of a pickle, haven't you? Oh, you're right. That is true. Oh, was that to uh, Guinevere? No, it was to... Uh, it was to... Huh? No, it was to Merlin. Uh, they Merlin were in the bar fight. fight. And that was uh... when Stumpy really wanted to be... Uh... Uh, uh, in the stunts, so to smash the jug of water over his head. 
Yeah, he also walks in at the beginning of that scene, and the guy he's standing next to is about six six, hmm. and Stumpy's obviously about five foot six, and he's standing next to him. It's a bit of a bit of a mismatch. Uh, I don't think he's anticipating what to do. With hey man, I think you're being sizes there. You never know. Like it's not. It's not all. Not at all. But it looks. It it provides for sort of like. Good visual, visual comedy. comedy, I feel, especially when you know very well the person involved. Yeah. Um, as we did with Stumpy, who we have a very firm place uh, reserved in our heart for. Uh, Tomiwa. Yeah. You got question 22 for us? What is on Lancelot's forget seal? A griffin, a lance and jouster, a tree, or crossed swords? Oh, forged seal. Not your fault, Tommy. Well, blame me. Ah, uh, forged seal. There you go. Definitely blame me. Anything technological, blame this guy. <laughs> blame this guy. Makes more sense. Wow, they've got a whole minute to answer this one. Crikey. Pretty sure I can tell you. Do you want to see my shin pads? No. <laughs> How do you like them apples? <laughs> that's, uh, that's amazing. That used to be uh, Sir Leon's like delivery line before he knocked out a, a bandit or something. Yeah, I mean, look at that. How do you like them apples? So one of the questions, uh, Google this question of what is on Lancelot's forge seal, because 60 seconds gives you enough time. The second question that kind of comes up is, did Lancelot die in Merlin? And then, did Lancelot sleep with Guinevere? People want to know, probably. Hmm. Uh, oh, that, that lit things up. Ooh. And what's it oh. done on the leaderboard? Oh, oh. The Troy Lane is, she, he or she is running away with this. Oh, you don't know what? Um, and Raquel is giving it a good old go. Arch D, Paige, Elise. <clears throat> I feel like we've seen Elise before. All right, home straight. Here we go. Uh, Owen. Yeah. We're on to you. Question to you, three. Yeah. What is the name of the show that all of us are on? <laughs> Not the question. Uh, so the question is, uh, what is the name of Merlin's father? Kilgara, Gaius, Pinus, or Balinor? I think I know this. <laughs> you mean you didn't know any of the others? Join in. <laughs> Should download the app. Yeah, you could have won, pal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, could have been given Petra J a uh, run for the money. <laughs> Petra J. <laughs> Sounds like a new model of like Saya. Is that Laura's <laughs> pseudonym? <Petra Jay. laughs> oh, good. We only got 30 seconds for this one. So less Googling time. Here we go. I think a lot of people are going to get this right. And I'll be right. There you go. Well, let me be right. He was good, that guy. I, I, liked I him. thought I was special. I knew. Yeah. That. He. Um, Lynch. John uh, Lynch. John Lynch. He also is about to appear in the new series of Medici. No yeah. way. Yeah. I thought he had his whole life, his whole career ahead of him. That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> it's only downhill from Merlin, mate. Mm. Uh, okay. Question 24. Who becomes the lady of the lake? Is it Morgos, Mythian, Freya, or Nimue? She was a... Uh... Oh, look at that. Do you recognize that hand? Do you know who it belongs yeah. to? Then you know the answer. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, 
We're actually in my bedroom. It's been like this for a while. Do you guys want to come around and play with it? Play with some toys. <laughs> there we go. Absolute clean sweep. Everybody getting it. Everyone. More or less. Uh, Liv is back less. in the game. Rupert. Yeah. Rupert. Oh, oh Rupert. Your number, your next one. Question 25. 25. We are, we are, we are on the home straight. Okay, what date? In two, uh, 2012, <laughs> I'll try again. <laughs> what date in 2012 did the last episode air on BBC One in the UK? 20th of September, the 31st of December, 31st of October, on the 24th of December. Oh, this is when we either ruined New Year's or ruined Christmas, right? Correct. Or we ruined, like, turning the clocks going forward. Oh, or we ruined this question <laughs> by turning it really hard. <laughs> okay. I heard an unzipping. <laughs> no, it's kind of ominous, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, that was very subtle. All right, four seconds to go. Macken, did someone leave that with you? And then now they'll be playing this quiz going, wait, that's mine. That's mine. Um, <laughs> 381 people. A lot of people got it. Which takes us to our final question. And mathematically... This is going to be tough for people to catch up, I feel. And then you cannot pronounce. We, we can't see. Um, anyway, this takes us to... Tom, why don't you read, uh, why don't you read us the, the bonus question? Oh, great. Okay. So the bonus question is, what song did Bradley often listen to between takes of fight scenes? Niche. Very niche. Okay, so the options are Right Here, Right Now by Fatboy Slim, Run Boy Run by Wood Kid, Firestarter, The Prodigy, My, Prodigy. Way, by, Prodigy. By, My way by Limp Biscuit. Do you never have any other songs? So, what, for six years you listen to the same song? There's Allegedly. one specifically. Why this is a valid question is because somebody did a video uh, of fight scene. Not this one, um, but this is indeed a fight scene. Uh, someone did a video and uh, sent it to me on Twitter and, you, and put it together with this music because they heard me in an interview say, I, uh, to keep energy up, because obviously you've all done these fight scenes where they'll say cut midway through, for example, Hopper beating the life out of Tid and he's got to like maintain that energy. <laughs> And uh, so quite often... It wasn't I, hard. He was an easy target. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big bully. <laughs> so to keep that energy up, because you'd start midway through the fight. And this was a song that I often, I often used. It often did the trick. I think I know what this is, but I'm not 100%. I think I know what it is. What do you reckon it is, mate? I, I think it's right here, right now. Ah. I think it's a... My way, Sinatra. <laughs> The answer was indeed Run Boy Run. Oh, and great then, song though. That's a yeah. great song. Someone on, if you look at my Twitter, somebody, I've retweeted a video that somebody very wonderful, very <clears throat> kindly made. It was lovely. Uh, the answer was who you going to bang though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? Who are you gonna bang hey your guys, you know what, what we've come to, don't you? Your... I think that was actually Laura's. Tom's was that savage this is guy. the end Tom's result, guys. That he played. Yeah, Arch is in team. third. Yeah, 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 yeah. Emmy yeah. has made it into second. Who's first? Who's first? We've all got to have a go at this. Well done, well done. Yes. I just Old made it. Ellen Page. Okay. Guys, we made it. 25 out of 26. I mean, it was 26 out of 26. That's well great done, you work. three. Well did done. Did she get a dog? 
Petroye. <laughs> well done, Petroye. Guys, we made it. Well done, Petroye. Not Petroye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to finding out how to pronounce that name. There can we, we meet her or him? If you That's want good. to, I'm sure you can reach out to him or her. And I mean, now I feel we <laughs> need to see her. She'll be crying now. She'll be like, surely Petrodigio needs to make an appearance. No, Lou, is that a possibility? I'd love to bring uh, Petroya on uh, online. However, Matt, Matt, you said that with such confidence. Is that because you know mate, that the name if, is Petroya? If in doubt, just, if in doubt just go for it, you know? That's <laughs> yeah. how I do most of my, uh, most of my acting. Um, and I'm often in doubt. Uh, <laughs> that person does not have a, uh, a username um, on the, um, the Zoom chat. So I, I think the, they've got another name that they're using for Zoom. So I don't know who it is to bring them on screen, I'm afraid. So what you're saying is oh. it might not be real. What an anti It's a bot, it's a bot isn't it? Uh, <laughs> it's the I mean, secretly, it's, oh, yeah. it's me having just spelt my name really terribly. <laughs> wow. Yeah. There's another mystery to be solved. Who is Petroye? I think well, we're going to have to have, a, we're going to have, to have another to figure out who Petroya is. Uncover the identity <laughs> of our mystery winner. I'm sure. Or well, maybe on like Twitter or Instagram, they can make themselves known and see how many people pretend. How many, how many people are going to be stepping forward saying that they are Petroya? Oh, well, that's, that's, that's the joy. Right. I'm Spartacus, and so is my wife. I suppose the best Petrugia. people will be whether they can spell it right in the first place. That'll be the first hurdle. Because I'm yeah. really Gone. Um, but there That's we are. True. Gentlemen, lads, boys, men, compadres, <laughs> hermanos, it's like nothing changed. Comrades, comrades. Um, guys, thank you very much for joining me tonight. It's been a bloody pleasure, as it always is. <clears throat> Wasn't it just? Uh, thank you for, for giving your time. Uh, I say uh, thank you to uh, Redemption Pause for essentially setting this all up, making it happen. Thank you to everyone who has participated. I, I'm led to believe there may have been a technical issue here or there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this happens a lot with me. Um, it's Guys, can me. I just drop a quick bombshell? Yeah, go on. I'm going to bring the person who just won on. Oh my God. Oh Tim my God. Petroya. Here we go. Petroya. Uh, is it Petroya? Tim Petroya. We're going to bring you online so you can join everyone and take some accolades. Let's see. Let's see. Where? Oh, God. oh my God. Uh, Tim Petroya. Petroya. You're currently on. You're currently on mute. Congratulations! Yay! Well done. Well done. Him, Detroit. Well done. We are color us impressed. Slow and sorry steady. for massacring your name. Yeah. How how do we say it? Detroit. 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 It's Dutch. So it is Dutch. Uh, what you're saying is I was almost exactly right. Yeah. Almost. But you've got, a, you've got a strange name, Owen, as well, so you're fine. Thanks, Ruth. Yeah, I mean, people call Owen Eon and all sorts. It's like that's an energy company in the UK. Sometimes they that's because they can't hear him when he introduces himself. Ah, sure, I, <laughs> I want to say Eon, so they haven't got a clue. I actually just, I actually just introduce myself as Tom Hopper most of the time, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe you should introduce yourself as Pim Detroyer. So, Pim, tell me when you first started watching Merlin. Um, six years ago, more or less. Oh, so you're quite new to it. Yeah, pretty much. Wow. But I watched it a couple of times, so it's not that big of a deal. No, that's pretty impressive to know that's all that. Knowledge. Your, your <laughs> performance tonight was very impressive, Pim. So well done. Don't guess it. Oh, oh, you guess. Guess. You got one wrong guess. guess. Yeah, the song. I didn't know about uh, it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, That's how good the lead was at that stage. Well done. Yeah. Wow. Is that the only one he got wrong? Yeah. 
Wow. Amazing. There we go. Ooh, That's well, good congratulations, going. sir. Yeah, thank you. You, uh, you. Wow, are that's really impressive. Coming your way. Um, the boys and I shall get together and uh, organise that. Um, but you get it in seven years' time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the delivery time on on cold straight leopard? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, a lot of post-production on a, on a thing like that. Avatar-esque. Uh, Pim, thank you so you much. You have no sir. idea. <laughs> thank you for joining in. Thank you for being a part of it. And congratulations once again. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right. Take Good care. night. Take care. Keep well. Keep well done. Care. Well done. Thank you. All right, lads. It's, uh, it's, like it's time to miss dinner. I've got to make sure my your, kids are alive. Your, your, <laughs> <laughs> your duty is done. Is everyone uh, gone now? Are we live still? We are very much live, yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to take my clothes off. <laughs> I was going to put my clothes like, on. Stuff, you know, I'll keep them off. <laughs> um, gentlemen, as I say, your duty is done. Thank you so much for Thanks for hosting, brothers. My pleasure. Quite, quite the brief pleasure. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. bye bye. Right. If I'm. If I'm right here, Melalu, it should be you, me. Of... Oh, even, Ma even Melalu's gone. Here we go. Here we go. Well done. What a great show, mate. And a lovely quiz. Well done for putting it together. Mate, that uh, was a pleasure to do. And um, effectively, the fact that uh, we were able to do it in the name of Redemption Pause, I was honoured. I was honoured that they'd... Uh, you know, come up, come forward with the idea. Couldn't jump at it quick enough. Do you have a good night, mate? I've had a great night. I've learned a lot about Merlin. Um, I did, <laughs> um, did slightly better that time than I did in the practice. <laughs> well done, but well done. I think uh, congratulations to everyone that got involved. You've all shown a real passion for the show and for the chaps involved here and for our wonderful host, Bradley. So congratulations, Bradley. And thank you all for helping us raise some money for a, a very worthy cause. Over 15,000 Canadian dollars is an amazing amount of money that's going to help an awful lot of uh, dogs in, uh, in need, especially right now while we're all in lockdown, they're not able to get the care they need. So well done. Well said, Melaloo. Well said. said. So... I should thank my guests. They've all disappeared. I'll thank them again. Very kind of them to, uh, to join in. I shall thank Redemption Pause. Uh, Nicole, Sydney, Jing, thank you for your hard work. Matthew Melalu, you're a bloody star, mate. Absolute pleasure. The work you put into this is incredible. Um, and once again, thank you, mate. So to all, you, all of you who are still watching, who made it through, Look at that. That wasn't planned. That wasn't planned. Maybe we should try and hit the crescendo. <laughs> um, yeah, all you guys who have stuck through to this point of the night, thank you once again for your support. Thanks for just, you know, watching me fumble around with more technology. You can understand why I got, I've got a whole team behind the scenes making sure that I don't mess things up. And yeah, it sounds like I still managed to mess things up. Hey, doesn't matter. All in, good, in the name of the good cause. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I certainly did. And in the meantime, take care.